Hello, in this video we will be traveling to a tremendous, exuberant, expeditious world where we paint a colossus of other things in life. Anger, happiness, inside profiles. <laughs> side profiles. This don't fit. Well, hello, my juicy friends. Thank you for hopping in back onto this little channel. I don't know if you could tell from the intro, but this video is going to be focused on side profiles. Let me tell you a little bit about my history in side profiles. I sucked at them. I, something about the nose to mouth ratio and then the damn chin, I could not figure it out. Now there was a time in early high school where I felt like I needed to master the side profile. Did I master it? No, not, not, not at all. But I did get better. So if you're out there struggling with side profiles, just know I'm still struggling. That is about to change because, I guess because we're gonna practice today. So I was doing some digging on the internet. Here's the reference. So pick up your creative tools and let's get juicy jumping. Let's go. Hurry up. Damn. You quit looking at me like that. You're so nasty. Come on. Let's go. Can we please briefly talk about my skin in this clip? I look so caramely. I went to the lake and I was there forever and I got a whole bunch of sun. So anyways. So I'm using those canvas packs that you can get from Michaels. They're very, very inexpensive, but to me they're quality, especially if you have another layer of gesso. I mix my gesso with a little bit of paint to have this blue tone, and then I just get right into it. I do not do no woof -waffing. Um, I go straight in with oil paint, and what I'm using here is oil paint and paint thinner, or mineral spirits, uh, just to have like a very light wash. The gesso absorbs the paint so fast, that you can really work a la prima with no um, like with no wait time. Um, this is me sketching out the side profile. I did this pretty quickly. I was actually shocked with me not having painted a side profile in so long. I was like, damn, you get yourself some uh, KFC chicken after this. You need a reward because this was quick. I actually do think I got KFC right after this. Not gonna lie. I think I actually got two chicken sandwiches. They're so good. Popeye's like, ah, you know what? I am not gonna start no drama. Anyways, back to the painting. Sadly, I did miss the beginning stages of me putting down the mid-tones, but you understand. There's nothing that you really missed. Uh, anyways, long story short, I actually did not like this at all. I was putting way too much paint down. The paint was getting very muddy very quickly, and the tones I was using was, as you can see, they're a little overly saturated, overly yellow. I wanted to go for that tone anyways, but as you can see, I ended up scraping this. Um, I scraped a lot of the paint off as much as I could. Um, it did leave some residue, but for the most part, I, I scraped most of the thick layers off. So let me tell you about side profiles real quick and my struggle with them. So I want to say it, it must have been between like seventh grade and like freshman year high school. I was doing a lot of like portraits that are just face on and I... I can't remember who said this. I cannot, but they said something along the lines of like, is that all you do is like people looking at, at you or something like that? And I'm like, what? And they're like, do you ever do like the side of the face? And I'm like, I didn't know what the hell the side of the, I didn't know it was called a profile. So I was like, the side of the face. Hmm. I remember doing some Googling on the fresh Googles and uh, was like, oh, I should probably like start drawing like a, uh, what's it called? Side profiles. Oh girl, it was a hot ass mess. I'll show you, I'll pop one up right now of like one of my older side profiles, hot mess. But around eighth grade, I started to get a little bit better. Um, I drew a side profile of Rose from the Titanic cause I was obsessed with the Titanic. I had the grip that I had on my life. Anyways, I loved this drawing so much of Rose and it really was just like uphill from there. I just always drew a whole bunch of side profiles. Up until like recently, I would say within the last like few years, like I, oh my God, why my voice sound like that? <sighs> I don't know. In my opinion, I just have not done a lot of side profiles and I was obsessed with them before and I haven't done them in a lot of time. So why not paint a side profile? And I really like how this man is turning out, but um, I will explain later on how this painting literally stayed unfinished for like a month and a half in my apartment it was on the ground for the longest time 
I don't know why. I think I was just scared to work on it because I didn't want to ruin it. Um, a lot of paintings that I make that I make super quick and I'm like really proud of, I will like not work on it because I feel like I'm tainting it if I finish it right then and there. Does that make sense? That might, uh, that would have been, I don't, that might be stupid, but, um, I guess it makes sense to me. Not really, but you know what I mean? And I'm about to interrupt this video. Hi. <laughs> so I am in my painting moo moo at the moment. You are getting all forehead. Ooh. Hi. Long story short, I painted this probably about a month and a half ago. And I have not touched it since. I don't have much to do. I just kind of want to, you know, I want to keep it very loose. I love the face. I don't really want to do much to it besides brighten up the background and fix whatever's happening right here. I really, I can't even tell you what the hell has been going through my head because I really like this painting. I just didn't ever finish it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and, and finish this damn thing. And once again, we are going off on a strong foot. Um, we are defining the hair. So I wanted to go in and keep it very loose, but I also added, like you can see the strands. I didn't know if I wanted to keep the background as the highlight, as you can see up top, but I didn't end up keeping it. I was gonna keep the hair a little lighter, like a brown, but I decided to go a little, little darker because I think it, you know, shines the face out a little bit more. It brings out the face and the details in the face. Also, I wanna mention that the painting might look a little different now uh, than it did in the earlier part of the video. It's because I got a new camera. This is what it actually looks like. The clips in the beginning was my old camera and it was hella yellow. Also, don't pay attention to the damn clothes because it's garbage then i'm fixing up the face uh kind of refining that jawbone because it was kind of lost in that little dark shadow where the swoop of the hair is oh my gosh oh my gosh this is my one of my favorite parts this is one of my favorite parts of painting is doing the background and just seeing everything pop now i'm the laziest b word you can know about background so i'll keep it simple but oh this is it i'll let you watch it in peace Mm. <sighs> side profile so here it is i was thinking about maybe putting a varnish on it to maybe darken up the colors but i really like how pastel it looks all of it is very matte it's matte everywhere and i think i want to keep it like that a lot of things kind of refreshed in my mind on how to do side profiles at least semi-realistic like this it's still kind of stylized in my opinion i think it's very it's very juicy and once again, I want to thank you guys so much for hopping in back onto this channel and watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. I definitely did. Stay very juicy, my friends. And please don't forget to like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell so you know when I post because I am a little random. You kind of fine, though. As always, stay juicy, stay creative, and please pick up a paintbrush, a pencil, a marker, and doodle something today. Bye. Oh, damn. What the, what the hell?